This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Packaging Standards Key Definitions for Packaging Standards Aerobic Microorganism Microorganisms requiring oxygen to ultimately survive. Anaerobic microorganism, microorganisms that do not requiring oxygen to survive. Controlled atmosphere packaging or C. A. P. Steady state environment comprising of a special blend of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, monitored and maintained to extend the shelf life of certain products in a warehouse or storage area. Modified atmosphere packaging or M. A. PA type of controlled atmosphere packaging. Packaging. Packaging is the practice of enclosing or protecting products for distribution, storage, sale, and use. Packaging also refers to the process of design, evaluation, and production of packages. Reduced oxygen packaging or R. O. P. Any packaging procedure that results in a reduced oxygen level in a sealed package, usually to extend a product's shelf life. Vacuum skin packaging or V. S. P. Vacuum skin packing is an example of reduced oxygen packaging. Packaging standards development. When considering the development, documentation and implementation of packaging standards within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes. About packaging standards packaging not only assists in the preservation of food, it also keeps food safe from contamination and damage, and provides a viable marketing opportunity for marketing branded food products. Packaging design and materials should provide adequate protection for products to minimize contamination, prevent damage, and accommodate appropriate labeling. Any packaging materials or gases used must be non-toxic and must not pose a threat to the safety and suitability of food under the specified conditions of storage and use. Where appropriate, Reusable or convenience packaging should be suitably durable, easy to clean and sanitize. Packaging standards procedures should be formatted to ensure that packaging conforms to relevant specifications which may be based upon regulatory or industry guidelines, or for customer requirements. It is important that packaging materials or procedures do not impact upon the safety or quality of the foods being packaged. Unused packaging should be handled and stored in a manner that does not compromise food safety or quality. The materials used for food packaging are many and varied, including paper, cardboard and other similar materials. Plastic and polymer-based substances such as polypropylene and polyethylene. Polystyrene. Metal and metallic compounds. Aluminium. Glass. Recycled compounds. The main requirements for determining the suitability for packaging for particular food item relies on the composition of the food and the intended purpose for the packaging. Packaging materials must not affect the safety or suitability of the foods being packaged. This is an important consideration regarding the common use of recycled materials to produce food packaging. A factor may also be considered in conjunction with legislative requirements. Modern technology provides the seemingly limitless application of packaging options which facilitates food safety and quality of the highest caliber, whilst allowing increased accessibility and marketability for branded products. The following common packaging variants are provided as examples of indicative processes, reduced oxygen packaging. Reduced oxygen packaging or R. O. P is one of the most common modern techniques used for packaging perishable items within a sealed package to prolong shelf life. Products packaged using ROP produced favorable safely outcomes if appropriate controls are implemented and managed throughout the packaging process. Using ROP in conjunction with a HACCP approach offers an effective method for packaging and preserving foodstuffs. ROP can create a significantly anaerobic environment that prevents the growth of aerobic microorganisms such as pseudomonas or aerobic yeast and molds, which are often responsible for off odors, slime, texture changes and general signs of spoilage. Reducing the oxygen in and around a food inhibits the oxidation process, 
which also controls rancidity in high-fat and oily foods. R. O. P. Also prevents oxidation-related color deterioration in foods. An additional effect of sealing food in R. O. P. Is the reduction of product shrinkage by preventing water loss. These benefits allow an extended shelf life for foods within the supply and logistics chain, which also provides unique marketing and product quality advantages. It is important to consider that all forms of R. O. P can create significant food safety risks if their application is not correct. Potentially hazardous foods must still be stored under strict temperature control, even if they are reduced oxygen packaged. This factor is particularly important regarding instances in which consumers of R. O. P. products do not maintain appropriate temperature control of packaged foods. While R. O. P works extremely well to control the growth aerobic spoilage bacteria, many anaerobic microorganisms associated with foodborne illness, such as Clostridia species, Campylobacter species, and Listeria monocyta genes are not always well controlled. This is where the application of accepted preservation measures such as pH, salt content and water activity can strengthen the R. O. P process and provide extra control over microbial pathogens. Consumers have come to expect that certain packages of foods would be safe without refrigeration, for example, low-acid canned foods that have been thermally processed rendering the food shelf stable. Retort heating ensures the destruction of Clostridium botulinum spores as well as all other foodborne pathogens. Consumers need to understand that most products that are packaged in R. O. P are not commercially sterile or shelf-stable and must still be refrigerated. A clear labeling statement to keep the product under temperature control, or for other specified usage requirements, must be provided to consumers. Types of reduced oxygen packaging include, controlled atmosphere packaging controlled atmosphere packaging or C. A. P. is an active system which continuously maintains the desired atmosphere within a package throughout the shelf life of a product by the use of agents to bind or scavenge oxygen or a sachet containing compounds to emit a gas. Controlled atmosphere packaging is defined as packaging of a product in a modified atmosphere followed by maintaining subsequent control of that atmosphere. Modified atmosphere packaging modified atmosphere packaging or M. A. P relies on altering the composition of gases in contact with the food by replacing air with a single gas, or a mixture of gases. The general aim of M. A. P. is to exclude it or greatly reduce oxygen levels, to retain the moisture content of the food, and to inhibit aerobic microbiological growth. The choice of packaging material used for M. A. P. depends on the recommended storage temperature for the food, the relative humidity of the package and the effect of light, if any, on the contents. Food grade carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and nitrogen are commonly used within the M. A. P. Processing of foodstuffs. These gases generally have no adverse effect upon the safety or quality of the foods being packaged but do have the potential to increase the shelf life of products when applied appropriately. Sous vide sous vide is generally used for cooked or raw foods that require refrigeration or frozen storage until the package is thoroughly heated immediately before service. The sous vide process is a pasteurization step that reduces bacterial load but is not sufficient to make the food shelf stable. The sous vide process commonly involves the following steps, preparation of the raw materials, which may include partial cooking of some or all components, packaging and sealing of the product, pasteurization of the product in its pack for a specified and monitored time and temperature, rapid and monitored cooling of the product or freezing, and reheating of the packages to a specified temperature before opening and service. About sous vide processing. Sous vide is a professional cooking method which utilizes plastic oxygen barriers and precise temperature controls to cook food items with reduced oxidization and extend shelf life as outcomes. The process allows the controlled cooking of items in an oxygen-free environment, which if maintained, will last longer than foods cooked using more traditional methods by excluding food contact with aerobic bacteria after cooking.
The outcomes of sous vide cookery include foods with naturally enhanced flavors and organoleptic qualities. Vacuum Packaging Vacuum packaging extracts the air from a package using a vacuum pole and hermetically seals the package so that a near-perfect vacuum remains inside. A common variation of the process is vacuum skin packaging or V. S. P. where a highly flexible plastic barrier is used to mold itself to the contours of the food being packaged. Subcontract packaging and labeling in instances where subcontracted packaging or labeling activities are conducted. It is of utmost importance that the scope and purpose of interactions of such subcontractors are documented and agreed, both internally and by relevant customers. It is generally not considered appropriate for food businesses to procure the services of a subcontracted packaging or labeling supplier without the prior consent of the customer for whom they manufacture foodstuffs. Such customer approvals often include verification of satisfactory standards, including the confirmation of food-grade packaging status. In instances where identity-preserved products are handled by subcontracted packaging or labeling suppliers, it is important to ensure that the integrity and genuine status of such foods are maintained. This is often facilitated through the establishment of assessment and testing routines between food businesses that may enter into subcontracted packaging or labeling arrangements to ensure the status of identity preserved products is not compromised. Integrity of Product Labeling and Coding Regardless of whether product labeling and coding is pre-printed or applied as part of the packaging process, all forms of product identification and traceability must remain legible and indelible at all times. Legibility checks are conducted to ensure that the print within the product labeling and coding can be read and understood by the anticipated consumer group. It is also important to consider that regulatory guidelines often specify requirements for defining legibility of product labeling and coding. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create? Manage and implement GFSI and HACCP based food safety and quality programs. Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge. Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes. Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business. The information and training resources available through HACCP.com included a variety of formats, such as website content, MP4 mp4 and text mp3 pdf and slideshow are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey visit hasup.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more